Hello people, I was back again. I was gonna get in a video about architecture, civil engineering, construction, woodwork, metallurgy. I'm gonna keep it simple. Make it matter and more familiar to you way based on the alloys and all that stuff. But instead, I'm gonna get in a video about mm, survivor tactics in jail. I don't know, condone anything illegal. If you done something legal and you know you done something legal, you should not try to escape from prison. But if you did do it, if you didn't do it, then here's a tip to you because you should not be in that jail legally. There's no jail in the world you can't break out of. I mean, let me put it there's no jail in the world I can't break out if I require the necessary need to. You should know, unless there's something in that jail that kills you, like on the dot, on that drop. There's nothing you can break out of. Walls have limitations. Metals have limitations. People have limitations. You, you are. There are beings. We are. Anything that feels pain, that hate, anger, have a chance of changing. Minus myself. Anything that does that. Everything else that does that can be really. Predicted in those situations, things are always changing. You present a opportunity benefit, and a hundred percent opportunity benefit, which come correlation with my other videos. If that person have that one hundred percent chance guarantee, even though it's like ninety nine other does not, they are gonna take that chance. So now it's like a billion people trying to get out because. Your stupidity, the stupidity of the way things are. Not that deal for now. I uh, will I say it's possible for everybody. Who knows? Is it? It's nothing impossible or, or impossible. It's just how much effort and dedication you put into how you you handle the situation. How well are you prepare for? What are you doing? What are you going to do? Even even worth doing. If I was in the middle of the ocean and where was it? And I have no way off, but I see like six billion people on that little island, and I like none of those people. I'm building bodies to make a boat. That's just me. You don't really have a limitation if you actually put the effort and understand the consequences. Are the rewards of your actions. You can be on a middle island that goes underwater every three weeks. I mean, like sinks into the ocean every three weeks. No woods, no trees, no nothing. You should know what you need to do to get out the risk. You're gonna know, A off yourself, wait the time comes and hope someone come off, or you can. Make a swim for it. There are people who those people in Olympic swims a lot of miles. Literally a lot of miles. 250 miles. Heck, if you go to heck. If you do any actual legit materials, not those materials that they think it sounds like really materials, like I'm not gonna tell you ones. Like you swimming with your hands behind your back. You swimming with one arm. You swimming with, with no legs, and you need your legs. Literally, legs are the more important things to swim in than your arms are. But you can do it anyway. There are people who free dive and hold their breath for 30 minutes. Hey, now I can probably hold my breath at five minutes, not moving. Back then, I used to be able to hold it for like good 10 minutes. And now, once I get in a, my situation, I hope I'm getting in, I should be able to increase my limb until about 30 minutes once I get in my pool. But only difference between not moving and moving, I'm going to be moving. That, that's just me anyway. Jail systems, breakouts, law invitations, it's just uh, knowing what you want. Um, 
if you are that kind of person and you are getting in that situation, there's some people who are who if they are school you are trying to school you over. Those two who is a minor screw over. They could trying to get you in jail for thirty years, but they don't really care how you get in there or how you ever how you get out. That means you not on that situation, but you are on that much of them. You know, watch, make sure that don't happen. Then there's other people who are purposely trying to screw you off and doing everything possible, the worst of the worst. You should be prepared for both of your situations, but you should be basing it on the chance that have more likely will happen in that situation or circumstance. Not that difficult, people. Um, if you, like, say, take some of the smartest people out there. Well, how y'all claim the smartest people out there? You're not just going to screw that person over. If you're trying to screw over a person who, I don't know, uh, have a background of 60 degrees and 45 certifications in intelligence, intelligence, this person have owns a job, runs a job, keeps that person pennies in the coin, and that person is always doing the right thing or always doing the wrong thing but being smart enough not to get caught purely and then you try to screw that person over you should know that you are way out of your limits you are way out of your league it's not that difficult people you don't keep those type of people down for long and usually they plan something ahead of time before any of that happens or when it happens they're like 50 billion stuff that's going on in here, and they got something that kind of almost everything you did. Not that difficult. Um, come on. You can't stop greatness. If someone is going to be great and they are great, then greatness will happen. You can. There's not really much you can do to that person's. You can say, you can change your outcome of your goals based on that situation or circumstances of screwing that person up and you are satisfied with that stuff. But usually those type of people that are, you are trying to screw over or have ways around that. You can, um, it's like an environmental existence fabric thing. If you are trash, you know it's something that no one's really worrying about. On an existing level, then you don't, you're not really that stuff. But if you are something that really, well, even reality how it feels to you, then, and you try to take on that person, then you, best of luck. But not really, but not towards me anyway, or mine. They can die and... Plan that out. 30 years later, your kids die, your family die, your wife die. You losing all hope. Then all of a sudden, you're like, you just get your hope back. And then that next day, that person, or that's something that person had planned out ahead of time. Or maybe that karma coming kicking because of that person is that big in existence. Um, Come around. You remember this person? Off you. Right then now. Just when you just getting your hope back up. That's right. I'm a grudgy guy. I'll let nothing go. Especially when I'm doing right. Um, when someone plans on actually dying and still screwing you over like 100 years down the line. It's kind of hard to say on the level of this of who you are. Eventually, there's not many options that are going to happen to this world. It's out of a... Great is going to be great. Trash is going to be trash. Or there's going to be nothing at all. And the difference between great and trash is that... If great gets on top, there's not much you can do on dropping them down. Period. That great is going to be up there like... 99% time of ever 
But if you are trash or the trashy group of society, once you get on top, you're not on top for long. You are fighting to stay on top. You are constantly on top. You are someone that helps you constantly compete. It's not because you're going to get someone great. It's because you're going to get the other trash that are like you. And... What you gonna do? Not not much. You can do. You can take them out. But guess what? Another one coming up. A person that is great once you get to that point of that state is not gonna really have that much competition. There's always a chance to slip up, but that's something else. My understanding of greatness and y'all understanding of greatness is way different. My greatness is that person next thing close to God, basically. Uh, literally, that person probably plan she or he or it or either, probably plan like like a company hostile takeover and have like 50 more outcomes of that. Most likely, that person probably give it to you because it's not worth their time in a say so you could say you won but most of the time people don't want something like that they want to be like that person be challenge that person or challenge that group and compare themselves to compare themselves to that person and expose on that group out there in to- so in terms of jail terms or architects to the breakout terms you she know how to blow people minds and stuff and like hey right i'm not condoning any crime i'm just saying what i want to say have fun